boot, you can see how deep that is right there on the side. We just keep rolling it off. But right there, uh, that sand that goes up a hill right there, and uh, we have put, you can see the dozer, see all the piles of sand, that sand right there, so there's a grater. We've widened it and everything, a big pile of sand there. What we had to do with it going up this hill, you can see it turns color right there. We haul some uh, clay gravel in here and bridged over that sand because it got to where we just couldn't even go go through it with a truck at all. And that'll that'll make it work where a truck can go out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump on the grader and go up there and grade grade that right quick right at the top. It's kind of getting a little choppy with them. I'm sitting in the grader now, and I uh, meant to say something about this last week, and I never did, but uh, the other day I had uh, John and uh, Kelly Robertson come out here to visit for the day. They drove all the way from Indianapolis, Indiana. John works for Wood Miser, and he had, he had contacted me, wanted me to come, wanted to come out, and I told him, yeah, they'd come out, that's fine. So he took off a week of vacation, and uh, come all the way here to uh, come out on the job. So uh, enjoyed having y'all out, John and uh, Kelly. Hey, John watches all my stuff too, man. And uh, so that's pretty fun having them uh, having them out. You hear it kind of idling down there. It's about to warm up. So I'm fixing to jump on this and grade, grade this heel up right quick. Oh, and also, we're still having 90 degree days. The day's Halloween, October 31st. It's still upper 80s, 88, 88 yesterday, 89. They're still not showing any rain for the next 10 days either, man. Bad, bad, bad. Gonna get right there. Yeah. It's gonna hit right there real quick. This is, this is engineering right here, man. Yeah. We're gonna get real. The freaking cylinder knows it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you'll get it this time. Mm -hmm. This in here is going to hit the bottom out before it gets on it. Almost there. All right. There it went. Redneck engineering, baby. <laughs> power tools. Power tools, yeah. Heavy duty power tools. 
Oh, we're fitting to do, man. We're fixing to pull this. We're going to pull the rod out of this cylinder. You see how big that rod is right there. And pack it. Yup. Like Kevin just said, that's the difference between grease and no grease. Had to bump it a little bit more, or unless you want, don't want that cylinder to drop. I want some big timing links, man. Good grief. I'm hoping that uh, Are you it's going to work right down in there. I believe you'll have enough stroke. Yeah, I'm going to hook to it. Yeah, well, I know. That's going to be... Stop. Yeah. <laughs> If it if it does have enough stroke, it ain't gonna be by much. I tell you that, cause that's a long cylinder, man. We got some straps on Derek's truck. If you want a strap now, nylon strap. You ain't straight over it either, by the way. Man, I'm going to tell you, if that, that's the reason why I'm filming right now. If you would have got soaked, that would have got me some views, man. I was thinking, see, this point back yonder way. Right. But man, that hydraulic oil, it's going to hit something up there and it's going to come back this way, though, too. Ricochet, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna pull air, but when it comes out, all the oil is gonna dump whatever's behind that. But you shouldn't be a lot behind it because that piston is gonna be nearly all the way at the end of that barrel. Yeah. You better wait till I move out of the way. <laughs> I heard the button. Coming out, any? I can't tell. There you go. I see the piston up there now. It's released now. Here it comes. I think I got a bunch of seals on that piston. Yeah, it's got a got a lock on it right there, a lock Allen on it right there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? You can't handle that, man. Huh? Is that how the excavators are done too? They have that like that on there? Or is yeah, it that different? Lock on that it. lock. Down. It's got a ball down in it. 
corn and eight. Size that, there you go. Whole range. Whole range. That's the definition of a big socket. Oh, yeah. We don't play, man. Got big boy stuff out here, man. We play with big toys. How big is you got? Well, big as I got, it's a three. That thing. Because normally you have to put that in a press at a cylinder shop to get them undone, right? That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. I made some. Because that the end of this cylinder is identical to those cylinders on my on my boom up there. Identical. Mm -hmm. Exactly the even the where the line goes on right there. Yeah. Exact same it. thing. in the rear end. That right there, my friends, is a hoss. controller there? Yeah, the emergency button don't want to work sometimes when the first try and the trigger don't want to work right sometimes. We had a wire break in ours yeah. not too long ago and had to send it back and had to fix it. They had to order one more. See that? That's all right. It didn't hurt. That's a big rod. So what's happened is this is an excavator cylinder. Is what it is, man. And these things, what do they torque those things to? They torque them ungodly, don't they? That's right. So this is this is Lee Russell. He's a he's an independent mechanic, and uh, he has a table at his house. That'll break that. That'll break those nuts. So what we're gonna do is he's going to uh, 
take that thing home and break that nut and go ahead and pack that cylinder. Y'all look at the winch on that crane right there. That is a hoss, man. I mean, a hoss. I'll go ahead and show y'all the truck before I get a bazillion questions on it. It's got an 8.3 liter Cummins in it. He's got, uh, he bought this truck new. Yeah, he told me he's got 12,500 hours on the engine on this thing now. Like 150,000 miles on it, got a welder. What model is this truck, Lee? 2012. 2012. There, vice there. Lee, uh, Lee does line born and everything. He does it. He does it all. This is welder stuff right here. 